When you connect your card to your computer, there's a tendency for people to want to delve within the folder structure, locate the video files and drag these out. That's actually the incorrect way to deal with the media. What we're going to do in this quick tutorial is just actually back up our media to our own drive and ingest into Avid as well. The folder that we're going to copy across is actually this one here, the BPAD folder. And that contains all the information, the metadata, video files and all the subfolders that we need to actually connect properly through Avid. If you launch a new finder window, what you want to do is actually navigate to the drive where you're going to copy your media to. The one thing to remember is you should not be saving to the system drive or to the local C drive if it's a PC. You want to create yourself a folder. I'm going to call this one Rushes because it's actually on my external drive. But it may be that if you're actually doing it on a shared computer in the university, such as a media drive or save work here, that you want to give it your own name. As I said, I'm going to call this one Rushes because this is actually my own external hard drive that I'm going to carry around with me. The next thing to do inside the Rushes folder itself is create another new folder. This is actually going to be the name of the project that we're working on, just so that we can find media files later on if we need to. So I'm calling this one Cosmology. And within the Cosmology folder, I'm going to create another new folder. And this is the date of filming, so the date that the media was created on the card. So in this instance, it's 2012, the month March, and then lastly, the date of the 19th. And then within this particular folder, I'm going to create a new folder. And this is actually for the first card going into my project. So I'm going to call this card 001. Just to quickly reiterate, I've got my Rushes folder, I've then got the project folder, the date of shooting, and then finally I've got the card number as well. And it's important that when you go over to the card that you're backing up, that you go down into the file structure and select the folder that's called BPAV. Copy that BPAV folder across. And once it's finished, you can actually eject the camera's card from your computer. The next thing you want to do is actually launch Avid. If you haven't already done so, you need to create yourself a new project. Now the standard settings we've been dealing with are 1080p at 25 frames a second, a YCB CR709 colour space and a 1920 by 1080 raster dimension. Now I'm just going to name my new project with an Avid and press OK. If you did want to save it elsewhere, for example to your external drive, you just need to select this folder icon here, navigate to the folder where you want to save your project. I've actually already done this, so on my external drive I've got a folder called Avid Projects and I save my work within there. So with our new project created, we press OK to open it. Now Avid's already created us um, a bin when it's first made the project. I'm just going to move that one out of the way. And then I'm going to go up to File and Link to AMA Volume. This is actually a volume we're bringing in, a whole load of videos. It's not an individual file that we're linking to. So I'm just going to, na going to navigate to my external drive and then down to my Rushes folder. And within there, obviously, I've got my cosmology folder that I created. That's the name of the project. 
Then I've got the date, the only shoot date so far, and then my first card is in there. And because of the way that we're actually bringing this into Avid, it's best to actually select the date. And when we press open, we're given a few other choices here. And if you actually choose bin based on subfolders, what Avid will do is actually open every subfolder within that date. So if you have more than one card, it will open more than one bin and it will base them on the folder name you gave it. So in this instance, my bin has got the same name as my folder. It's called card 001. You can see from the icon this is an AMA clip. What I like to do is just load up the footage and make sure that everything works okay. So once I've reviewed my footage to make sure that everything's working okay, I'm just going to select all of the items in the bin and you can do that either by going up to the edit menu and select all or you can shift click to select the items within the bin. Once I've done this I'm just going to right click on the clips and then go up to consolidate and transcode from the options that appear. At the very top I'm going to select transcode and it tells me that I've got eight clips selected over on the right hand side I'll just make sure that my resolution is set to DNX HD 120 and then over here on the left it's letting me know what drives I have available so this actually includes my system drive um, which I don't want to capture to so I'm just going to cancel this at the moment I'm going to go up to settings and then actually navigate down to media creation and within here I can actually filter out the system drive and any launch drives as well so once I've ticked these and pressed OK if I then select all of the clips again in the bin right click on it and choose consolidate transcode you'll notice that actually it's no longer got the system drive there so this is a good way to filter out the C drive or D drive if you don't want them or the system drive on a Mac as well so I've chosen the drive I want chosen transcode again all the settings are correct I know that I've got enough space on the drive for the footage I'm going to be transcoding and once I'm happy I can just press transcode Now that it's finished transcoding, it actually looks as though I've got double the amount of clips as before. And that's because it's created new files. And these you can see have .new on the end. They can also be identified by the video type that they are. They have the DNX HD120. And also where the items themselves physically exist. So this actually shows you where the media itself is stored. What I'm going to do now is create myself a new bin. This is so I can move my newly transcoded footage into there. I'm going to call this one card 001 rushes. And then I'm going to click the top one and shift click on the last one that I want to select. And then move these clips over to the other bin. Finally, I'm just going to close the AMA bin. And then I'm going to delete it from the project. This doesn't delete any of the media, it simply removes the bin from the project. And again, just because I like to double check things, I'm just going to load up each clip and make sure that it plays back OK. And there we go, that's everything brought across into Avid, transcoded, and the project's ready to go and edit. Now the next thing that happened obviously is you're going to be having more cards, more media coming in. So if I just navigate back to where we stored our original media, when you have a new card, 
for a shoot day, you want to make sure that you name that card sequentially. So our last card was 001, this one will be 002. And then for example, if we filmed on another day, we'd create a new day folder. And then within this day folder, we would then create a new card. But we would carry on sequentially from the last cards that we've used. So in this instance, it would be card 003.